Hi, this is Rob. In this video, I'll show you how to install Terraform on a Mac and create an S3 bucket on AWS. I'll be installing Terraform using Homebrew. If you don't have Homebrew installed, I'll provide a link to a video I created on how to install it below. You'll also require the AWS CLI to be installed and have an IAM user's access key and secret access key in AWS config. A link to a video on how to install and configure the CLI below as well. With Homebrew installed, I can jump over to the Terraform downloads page and copy the command to tap HashiCorp, then jump back over to the terminal and execute the command. Then go back over to the downloads page and copy the command to install Terraform and execute it. And then we can test the installation by doing a Terraform version. And we see Terraform was successfully installed. Now, in order to create the S3 bucket, I'll need an AWS user with S3 permissions and their access key and secret access key in my local AWS config. So I'll jump over to the AWS IAM Management Console and create a new developers user group. and give the group S3 full access for the demo. Then I'll add my user to the group. Now I'll jump back into my terminal and ensure I have the user in AWS config. Now, with Terraform installed and my IAM user added to AWS config, I can work on creating an S3 bucket. I'll start by creating a directory for my Terraform projects and change directory into it, then launch VS Code. I'll start by creating a new Terraform file named main.tf. Then I'll add the Terraform block with the required providers, which for us will be AWS. Then I'll indicate the AWS providers region. Then add the resource block for the bucket. I'll add another resource block, which will enable versioning on the bucket. And lastly, a resource block for server-side encryption. I'll save the file and go back to the terminal. Now with the template created, I'll issue a terraform init command to initialize the back end. Then I'll run a terraform plan, which will check AWS and compare what's currently deployed to the resources indicated in the terraform template which in our case is the S3 bucket. And here we see the three resources we indicated in the template, which will be created when we run Terraform apply. There's the S3 bucket, server-side encryption, and the bucket versioning. So now I'll execute Terraform apply and confirm I want Terraform to perform the actions. And with the apply complete and three resources added, I could jump back over to the AWS console, head over to S3, and we see the bucket. If we check the properties, we'll see that bucket versioning is enabled. as well as default encryption. Now I can jump back over into the terminal and execute a Terraform destroy to tear down the bucket. I'll enter yes to confirm. 
the destroy is complete and three resources were destroyed. So if I go back to S3 and refresh, we see the bucket has been destroyed. So that concludes this video on installing Terraform on a Mac and creating an AWS S3 bucket. If you'd like to see more examples on using Terraform to provision AWS resources, consider subscribing to the channel and get notified when I add my next video to my AWS hands-on playlist, which will show you how to build a VPC and related components using Terraform.